Today, I think, well, previously, we've talked through, first of all, how to fit the bags onto your bike, which is the first thing, and also talked about the kind of stuff that you wanna take on a typical bike packing trip and how you wanna tweak that for, for what you're doing. What we haven't really gone into much detail about before though is where you would load all of this stuff onto the, the bike. So whereabouts your sleeping bag goes, for example, um, how to make sure you've got all the things that you need at a hurry, sort of nice and handy and you know where they all are. And also making sure that stuff doesn't rattle around on the bike and you've got the weight nice and evenly distributed. So to start off with, we're going to start with the frame bag. Um, for this, it's basically every, anything that I really, really want to get hold of while I'm riding along, and be able to, to access super easily. Uh, to start off with, it's probably the biggest thing that goes in, which is the pump. I actually quite like a reasonably large pump. Um, like the last thing that you want while you're bikepacking is to be hunched over your tire for half an hour trying to pump up using a tiny, silly little micro pump. And the great thing about the frame bag is it's so long that there's, there's plenty of room for, for that to fit in. Next up is, it's actually, this is actually a restrap tool roll that would normally sit under the saddle. Uh, I've simply taken the strap off that holds it there and uh, put it in the frame bag. In this, I've got, I guess it's kind of all the usual tools really. So multi-tool, um, tire lever, stuff to, to fix tubeless punctures chain breaker that kind of thing and then i like to be a little bit more self-sufficient if i'm going away bikepacking so i also bring another pouch with just some extra stuff that i wouldn't normally take on a ride so that's stuff like gear cable um, some zip ties spare brake pads spare bolts and also a leatherman tool as well uh, oh and also a spare valve for, for the tires if everything goes wrong and still can't fix tubeless puncture with the repair kit then it's always handy having a spare tube so this is the adventure race musette and i tend to just have it folded away tucked in there and it's the kind of thing where you get to get to a town want to pick up some food your bags are full uh, it's really useful to just be able to sling some food in that and sling it over your shoulder for a few miles till you get out of town or whatever. And then obviously it can go back in there as well. I tend to take a super little lock with me. Um, it's the kind of thing that any bike thief worth their salt is going to take a pair of scissors to and take it away. But it just is, it's kind of more for peace of mind when you're popping into a shop really quickly, it makes it a little bit harder to, to steal your bike. Electronics, so I've got a, a USB chargeable battery pack, plug, uh, cables, and actually some headphones as well. So if I'm doing a solo trip, occasionally I'll, I'll want a bit of music. Finally, depending on what the weather's like, depending on other things, and I'll sometimes throw a buff in the frame bag as well. Obviously handy for keeping warm, also kind of handy for as just a sort of sweat wipe or whatever else as well. And also because there's quite a few small light things, it just helps dampen down some of the rattling as well. Um, I've not packed this very well, I've literally just thrown everything in. And if I was doing it myself, I'd take a little bit more care in terms of placing things in the right place. But as you can see, it actually closes up pretty nicely and easily. And there's probably a little bit more room for, for a few other things in there as well. I've got nothing in the other side pocket on this basis. Oh yeah, I suppose the other things that would include passport if I was riding abroad, uh, wallet, cards, that kind of thing, um, any essential paperwork type stuff. Right, so uh, loading up the, the saddle bag. If we're using the tent, then um, pop that in. One of the one of the things that I don't like quite so much about the tent is it's, it's a little bit harder just to, to fit everything around it, but I'll tend to, to put that in first. And then I use the, the clothes that I'm not obviously not riding in, but also the ones that I potentially want to be accessible during the day. So things like waterproof. Uh, I've got a little windproof gilet there. Cycling cap. And also that's just a, a down jacket, super lightweight one. And I'll bring that pretty much whatever the weather is. Cause I think especially after a few days in the evening, you tired anyway then I tend to get quite cold so that's that's great for just adding a bit of insulation even on a, a beautiful summer's day like today and there we go 
naturally you can see again I've not packed that perfectly but there's still a reasonable amount of room there to, to fit in a bit of extra food maybe another layer anything else as well one way of saving a little bit of space is when you're packing it up just empty it out unroll it it's worth actually sort of doing this fairly neatly rather than just shoving it in which is kind of my usual default I've learned over time that actually if you roll it up then you can save a bit of space this is um, a sleeping mat and I'll quite often just put that in um, in the dry bag as it is but you can save a little bit of space by rolling it up within the tent and it's it's weird it's almost like it, it disappears and it seems to take up the same amount of space as just the tent would do. And you've got your sleeping mat there as well. Now get to watch me wrestle putting this back in. Fun and games. Probably like a more flattering way that I could do this, isn't there? But never mind. Hey, you've seen me falling out of hammocks, this is nothing. So there we go, that's now got the sleeping mat in and you know, it's essentially the same size as it was before, so it's a nice way of saving a little bit of space. If the weather forecast is as stunning as it is at the moment, rather than taking a full tent, I'll have quite often just take a, um, a bivy bag, which just makes everything that little bit smaller and lighter and it's, it's we've kind of talked about it in previous videos and it's it's totally down to personal preference but yeah as you can see that that rolls down really nice and small i think one of the things that um quite a lot of people complain about is getting quite a lot of tail wag on the um on the saddlebag one thing that really helps with that is making sure you've got the heavier stuff in the bottom and also you're filling out this, this bottom part. The other thing is actually just taking less stuff. <laughs> um, it's, it's a really obvious thing, but I always rather carry as little as possible in there. And the restrap bag is the most stable one that I've ever used. Um, but if you're out of the saddle and you're really honking away and you've got a load of weight sticking out here, it's inevitably gonna move a little bit. So going fairly lightweight in here is a good idea. And as I say, it also means that you've got some room there to, to fit in some food or whatever as you're riding along too. So last major bit of luggage for the bike is the, the bar roll. I tend to put stuff in here that I'm 99% I'm sure I'm not gonna need during the day just because it's a little bit more of a pain to access um, as you're moving along. It's nice just to have that loaded up and worry about it when I get to, to camp in the evening. So the first thing that goes in is sleeping bag. And this is um, sort of quite a lightweight down sleeping bag and it compacts down, as you see, to, to next to nothing. <clears throat> and then the other major thing that I, um, I put in the bar bag is my spare clothes for the evening. Because it's the middle of summer, then gone fairly lightweight. So it's a pair of lightweight um, shorts, merino pants, merino t-shirt. And that's it actually. One thing that I probably could have put in the saddlebag is some um, arm warmers and leg warmers, but uh, they can go in there really. Obviously it's the kind of thing that you'll tweak depending on what the weather forecast is, the time of year, that sort of thing. There we go. Oh and midge net as well which if you're planning on doing a uk based trip and if you live in the uk this summer it's probably the only kind of trip you're going to be able to do uh then midge net is an absolute godsend sometimes and that can pack in there and as you can see that packs down to a really nice small size without a great deal of effort um one of the things that can be a limit sometimes is obviously with the drop bars then that keeps things a little bit narrower and also just on smaller frame sizes as well this is a 57 
But if you've got a small frame, then there's not always quite enough clearance for the tire if, for you to use a, a big bar roll there. Um, so what you might find is you simply need to just include more in the, the saddle bag. Um, it's kind of thing where obviously just trial, trial and error, see what works for you, works for your bike. Um, one of the nice things about the restrap um, dry bag is that it's double ended. For the way that I've packed, it doesn't matter too much. Um, but what can be quite handy is, you know, you, you put your sleeping kit in one end, your riding kit in the other end, that kind of thing. Um, so again, just work out what, what best works for you. So here we have it, really. Um, fully loaded bike. I think before we do anything else, it's worth pointing out a few things. I think, first of all, it isn't actually fully loaded. There's still space to carry some extra stuff there. I tend to start off with, with actually carrying a little bit of food. Um, I'll usually use this for, for just kind of loose sweets and nuts and then top tube bag or even the tech bag for, for snacks, phone as well, maybe that kind of thing. Don't feel like you have to pack everything to the seams. Um, you might have a layer that you're wearing while you're riding that you need to strip off. It's great if you can put that somewhere. Um, picking up food along the way is really useful as well. You want to have some space for that ideally. So it's, it's good to go as minimalist as you're comfortable doing. Everything just fits on the bike so nicely. You don't need to carry loads of stuff to be able to get away for a week. Um, and this is going to be super comfortable, really lightweight, and keep you trucking for as long as you need to, really. I think that's everything, so we can uh, load it up. <laughs> Hurry up, Tom! <laughs>